just want to say it totally bothers me when a company comes out with a new product and you can't even find the product on their website. Like it's their new product and it's not on their website. How is this helping me? How is your website helping me? It's not. Hello loves, so today we're going to talk about the new Wet n Wild Fall uh, Limited Edition Matte Collection. Um, if you haven't seen it in the store, I'm just going to show you a picture of what it looks like. So this is what the display looks like. It's called All Access Beauty. Um, and there's a few different displays. Like this is the one with the mattes in it. And then there's another All, Ac All Access Beauty display with like eyeshadows in it. And then there's another one with just polishes. Th these are the ones that I've seen. So this collection has six uh, matte nail polishes. And it has four matte new matte lipsticks. I have three of the polishes here that we're going to talk about and I have two of the lip colors that we're going to talk about. First let's talk about the old matte lipstick. We're going to talk about the lipsticks first. The old matte lipsticks. This is a four hour long wearing lip color. Leaves a semi matte cream finish in one stroke. Glides on easily with rich velvety color that doesn't cake, flake, or bleed. Um, I love these lip colors. There's one particular one that I was rocking all last winter which was cherry picking. I love this one. If you don't have this one, you totally need to pick it up. Like, this is a perfect fall pink to me. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Anyway, and they are cre <clears throat> they are creamy to an extent. Uh, they are long wearing. The darker ones definitely stain your lips. Um, like as they wear off, they leave behind a stain, and then they kind of rub off eventually. Um. Anyway, I just think they're great colors. The first one I'm going to talk about though is an old one because I want to kind of compare the old formula to this new formula. It's definitely new. It's definitely different. And um, this one is Mocha Licious. Uh, this is watch right here and this is the one I'm wearing on my lips uh, it glides on very easily it feels good on the lips as long as you put a nice moisturizing balm underneath it so it's not gonna like dry your lips out if you wear it with nothing on top of it I would say yes it would dry your lips out but I would say that about any lipstick really so two the two two of the new lipstick they're both in the purple family one's a pink purple and one's a dark brownie purple so the pinker purple is called urban night and it is this color right here like I said it's a pinky purple and once again it's like a satin finish it's got a little sh little shine to it. it's got a little matte to it it's a little bit best of both worlds once again it glides on wonderfully I think this formula is just a tad step up from the previous formula just a little bit um, I don't think it's like a huge difference so this one's urban night I really like this one um, but my favorite of the two is definitely Bordeaux Boulevard Bordeaux Boulevard I'm pretty sure how you pronounce that and that is this darker purple here Revlon color burst in shameless this is like the dark little brother of this of that color it's so pretty dark deep great for fall it's going to be beautiful I just know it. I just know it it's got those two purple colors and I'm really happy with my choice along with the Mogalicious which I love it I love it Anyway, on to the nail polishes. These are matte as well. They have nice matte handle packaging. I really like that packaging. And they're wet and wild nail polishes. These are good, honey. $1.99 for a good polish. Like most of the polishes that I picked up from this Mega Last line, they really are nicely pigmented. Two coats usually gets you that great pigmented color. You can go to three if you want to, but two coats will do the trick. Um, the other ones, the 99 cent ones, those ones to me are kind of hit and miss, but these ones are perfection. So anyway, so I'm going to go from the lightest color. This is the, well, the lightest color that I picked up. Like I said, there are six of these nail polishes. Anyway, this is called Distressed to Impress. And this is like a brown color when I polished my nails with it and I'll show you a swatch on the screen. It like brought out a lot more green uh, but I did like this one. I wanted to pick it because it's out of my comfort zone. I actually have it on my thumb here uh, with 
the maroon color I'm going to show you um, anyway but it was kind of out of my comfort zone I just wanted to give it a try and I do like it okay the next color is so berry on trend and this is this gorgeous berry color this color is just the epitome of fall my friend this is like the main color I have on my nails um, underneath the dot I love this color it's definitely um, the way I would describe it is a crelly like a cross between a cream and a jelly if you don't know much about nail polish creams are the more opaque ones jellies are like the sheer ones that you kind of have to build up like three coats or plus but they're kind of sheer um, so but it was kind of a cross between the two a cream and a jelly so but it was an it was nice uh, and they do dry satin like semi matte like they're not glossy but they're not I wouldn't say they're 100% matte either if you really want the matte look I would say you have to top with a matte top coat uh, but in my swatches it's just two coats of the polish no top coat anyway and the last color this is eco dark I love this color it looks really blue in the packaging but on my nails I feel like it's just gonna come off more black like yes someone else seeing it would say might say that it is black so um but i really like the color so i only picked up those three um so that's it for my review like i said the lipsticks are spot on uh just basically just pick the colors that you want and they will um they won't disappoint the formula won't disappoint um the only thing might disappoint you is the actual color but the color payoff is great the formula is great um they are great lipsticks so give them a try and the nail polishes like I said I love the nail polishes I'm definitely gonna be rocking them this fall because they are fall colors that's all I have to say about the new MAC collection I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe for more check the description box below there's always information down there everything that I talk about plus much much more and thanks for watching I'll see you in my next one bye